marco biologists so this video we're going to take up the standard growth curve for microorganisms in a closed culture so just to remind you in a closed culture this is where the microorganisms are allowed to grow for a set period of time nothing is added during this period and nothing is taken away until the end of that fixed time period so this is also known as batched um, now we should know that bacteria reproduce really really quickly <clears throat> and um, they can actually reproduce every 20 minutes um, so normally what we do with when we're using bacterial numbers is we talk about log logarithmic numbers instead uh, because it's easier to, to talk about smaller numbers um, using those smaller log numbers and it's also easier to plot them on graphs so I'll demonstrate that for you now so if over the space of um, an hour I would have eight Num eight bacteria and um, after two hours it'd be 64 and then one five two and so on and so forth so as time goes by i get into quite astronomical numbers um of bacteria um however to plot these on a graph is quite difficult so what we do is we put log numbers on instead now on your calculator I highly advise that you identify where and how to use this button and practice practice it now as you go through this video so you're looking for the log button on your calculator so you put press the log button and then the number eight you should get to um two decimal places 0.9 um and again if you did the same for 64 put log 64 you get 1.81 and so on and so forth so as you can see here these log numbers are much easier to plot on a graph than the actual number of bacteria um, now, in an exam, it's important you know how to go backwards as well. It's important you know how to go from these log numbers back to the actual number of bacteria involved. Um, so in order to do that, what you need to locate on your calculator here is um, this number, the 10 with a little box on the top. Um, that is what you're looking for here on your calculator in order to get back to your bacterial numbers. Now, um, in your exam, you also might be asked to identify things from a log graph, but I've very rarely seen this in your exam. This is what a log graph looks like. Um, so in, in order to plot your numbers here, what you would do, you use the same, so that'd be one, two, three, four, five. But as you can see here, the, the lines become slightly more squashed, and that's only because you're using log numbers here rather than your standard numbers. All right. Um, now, I highly advise that you get this book and practice things from this book because most of you've got 10% of your marks are going to be maths based. So it's really important that you're up to date with your math skills. So actually have a look at the standard growth curve itself. You've got the lag, log, stationary and death phase. In the lag phase, this is where I've got reproduction being slightly higher than death. I've then got log, where I've got the um, a massive reproduction rate is much higher than the death rate. Then the stationary phase, which is where the growth rate is zero. So the reproduction rate is similar to the death rate. And then here in the death phase, the death rate is higher than the reproduction rate. Now, there's different things produced at different parts here within the, the growth and um, the first one you to be aware of is the primary metabolites. So primary metabolites are molecules needed for the cell's normal function. So this might be amino acids, proteins, or enzymes. However, secondary metabolites, these are things that are not normally part of the normal growth, such as antibiotics. So antibiotics, or for example, insulin hormones, these might be produced by the microorganism as a result of genetic engineering. Um, and so not all microorganisms will produce these. Um, so what this looks like in a graph, um, we need to know um, the growth curve. We need to know um, where glucose is used up and how it would be used up. We need to know where, where I've got more primary and where I've got more secondary metabolites. So this is the standard growth curve. It doesn't quite go into the death phase. It just, just starts the death phase here. Um, this is how glucose will be used up because don't forget it's a closed culture. So the glucose will be used up in aerobic respiration. Um, we've then got primary metabolites. So primary metabolites will be produced um, in the same rate as the bacterial grow. But secondary metabolites, these will start to grow more when we hit the stationary phase because they're not needed for growth of the population. So guys, that's pretty much everything you need to know on the standard growth curve. Good luck with your exams and all the best with your studies.